All right, so technically the question is on 25. I probably sh should have taken a drink of my coffee before I started recording. I'm a human being. Anyways, consider again the auto repair rates described in problem number 23. If you own two cars, what is the probability that neither will need a repair, um, so on and so forth? So basically, in problem 23, um, they ask some questions uh, about car repair, which is funny because every five seconds, somebody's calling me and offering me um, uh, a warranty, an extended warranty on my car. And basically, if you were to do problem number 23, I'm just going to write the answers down. I'm not going to go over 23 because it sounds like you guys know how to do that. But the prob what was the probability, and th this is just one car, what's the probability of no repairs? So you should have gotten 0.72 or 72%. Part B says, what's the probability of um, no more than one repair? Uh, so you should have gotten a 0.89 for that. And then some repairs you should have gotten 0.28, all right? And if you, you know if, if, if you need me to go over that, I can, uh, but we're gonna do 25 right now. So let's just focus on 25. So it says neither will need a repair. So now the difference is we're talking about two cars, okay? Okay, so how do we, do that with two cars. Well, this is very similar to the last problem that we did. Um, so what was the answer for 23? Well, for 23, no repairs was 0.72. But now we're doing that with two cars. So we're going to say 0.72 for the first car. That's the probability of that. And then 0.72 for the second car. And multiply those together. It comes out to be about 0.5184. So about 54% chance. Ugh, that's a terrible four. Oh, much better. All right, so now it says that they'll both need a repair. So um, that's some repairs, right? Not the they need at least one, it's, it's really some. So in that particular case, I'm just gonna say for the first car, I got a 28% chance that it'll need a repair. On the second eight, on the second car, I got a 28% chance, so 0.28 times 0.28. Um, so that is about um, 0 0.0784, if I plug that in my calculator. And then lastly, at least one car will need to be repaired. So this is an interesting one. At least one car. Now we got to approach this slightly different. Um, so I could have one repaired or both repaired. So what's the complement of that scenario? None of them. None of, none of them will need to be re repaired. Right? So then I could say one minus neither. Or one minus 0.72 squared or one minus this 0.5184 and that gives me 0.4816. So the complements there make that a heck of a lot easier. Because what I'd have to do is say, well, what's the probability of one of them needing to be repaired? And I'd calculate that. What's the probability of both of them being repaired? I'd calculate that. And then I'd have to add those up. It'd, it'd equal 0.48. I that. Could you try again? Um, my Apple Watch is going off. Um, does that make sense to you guys? But you can just think about it out loud, right? If I have one repaired, or if I have two repaired, that's the complete opposite of neither one of them being repaired. So that's the complement. One minus the complement gives you the same answer. 